Hi, Year 11. I cannot believe it's the end of term, July the 17th for most of us. So I've just put a few slides together just to sort of sum up the last five years for you as a year group. Before we do that, we're just going to do a short prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, in this final week of term, we ask you to help us grow in faith. Protect the seeds of faith we have within us, whether big, small, damaged or thriving. Whenever the thorns of life try to choke us or the world scorches our confidence, help us to look to you for spiritual nourishment so that we can be revived and begin to grow again. We make this prayer in your name. Amen. St. Joseph's, pray for us. I really, really think there's some key words in that prayer for this week. Um, what you've come through in the last three months has been amazing. And you're all going to go on and grow and grow to become really, really successful young adults. I genuinely believe that. So here you were five years ago. I know you've seen this picture, but it just makes me smile. So, so, so sweet and innocent and ready for the world and what lies ahead of them at secondary school. And five years on, you have grown into mature young adults, successful young adults. And so I thought what we'd do is a few awards for the, uh, the end of year. Look at, um, these aren't the official awards. That's going to be Tuesday night, and you should all find out about that with a letter. But these are the unofficial awards for year 11 for 2020. So the tutor group with the best attendance for the whole of the five years that you were in school. No, Teresa House, I'm sorry it wasn't you, but it is Mark House. And there you are with Mr. Oakley at Sports Day at the end of year 10. Well done to Mark House. Superb attendance, each and every one of you. Well done. And our next award goes to the first person to appear on screen. And we've got so many talented um, actors and actresses in this year group. So I've had to split this one into boys and girls. Our lead male nominations, there they are. What fine young men. And our winner is a shy, unassuming. Who is it? Who is it going to be? Yeah, it's Patrick. But all of you are amazing. So Patrick, I hope to be buying tickets to see you one day on the stage. What a quiet, reserved man he is. Right, and the lead female nominations, a big group of girls, been in every place since they've been here, every musical. And our winner is, well, it was a close one. It's between these two. Who could it be? Who could it possibly be? And it's Chelsea McGee. Well done, Chelsea. But both of you, all of you, superb performances in your five years here at St. Joseph's. Right, the person most likely to be late or even miss, in this one's case, their own wedding. Now, who could it be out of that group of fine, young, handsome gentlemen? Yes, Mr. Cruz Kelly, you nailed it. It was close, but you are the winner of our most likely to be late to their own wedding. I'm very proud of you, Cruz. Our next one, the first published author. Now, this was nominated by his tutor. Who could it be out of that fine group of people? Our first published author goes to the one and only Aidan Lamborn. Congratulations, Aidan. A great, great award. Well done, you. So, a very serious one now. The first ever female prime minister from St. Joseph's. The nominations are for fine young ladies who have represented us well throughout their time here, but are most spoke, outspoken and someone who shares the views of the majority will be Tabadashi! Yay! Well done, Tabadashi. Make sure you go with your views and your opinions and you fly the flag for those views and opinions. So our male prime minister, who can it be? Oh, Look at that fine group of gentlemen. One of them will be representing you 
as the first ever male prime minister from St. Joseph's. And it is Stuart. Well done, Stuart. Got your name right this time. Well done, buddy. What a great speaker you are. One day you will be speaking publicly. and I can see it in the future. Oh, bit of a typo there. The first to become famous in the world of design. So the design world. Who knows what this person is going to create for us, but our nominations are there. And the winner is Mr. Joseph Arlotti. Well done, Joe. Keep up the good work, buddy. And the first to run their own Michelin star restaurant. Look at all those lovely cooks. And I tried every single one of yours food when we when you did your GCSE. And our winner is the lovely Sinead. Well done, Sinead. Best dressed. Look at those. But this isn't the best dressed award. This is the best Christmas spirit award. And it goes to. No, it's not you, Marcel. I thought you might think it's you, but it goes to Aaron. Well done, Aaron. Superb Christmas spirit. I could just about see a smile on that face, but I love in the hat. Well done, buddy. Our first married couple. Well, Mr. Nickel nominated this couple. No, it's not them. No, it's not them. Were you ever a couple? Don't even remember you being a couple. Anyway, it's not you two. Our first married couple goes to, yay, Kevin Hill and Daniel Northway. Thank you for Mr. Nickel's nominations. Next award, the first to get their PhD. Look at these fine young scientists. What a group of talented young scientists. And the award goes to, woo, well done, Marvin. Superb. Okay, our first female Olympian. Our first female Olympian. Could be any one of those fine, highly tuned athletes. But the award goes to Lucy. Well done, Lucy. Superb athlete, represented the school in pretty much every sport we've had going. Really committed, always at training, always works hard. Well done to you. And our first male, well, could be any one of them, but it's going to go to Mr. Willis. Well done, Akeem. Great athlete, all-round superstar, works hard, um, along with the rest of you, but he got our vote. First professional football, uh, and he's just received award for Brentford. Yes, it is. Mr. Ryan Visitation. Good lad, Ryan. All of you in there, again, work really hard. Great team spirit. And that was you, I think, in Barcelona a few years back. So who's going to win The Voice? The first St. Joseph student to win The Voice. Could be any one of these fine singers, but our winner is our one and only Imsal. Well done, Imsal. Hope you do well in the future and I hope you keep singing because you have got a beautiful, beautiful voice. Oh, who's going to win our first million? Is it Stuart? Is it Patrick? Is it David? Could it possibly be Cameron? No, the very first man to make his million is Goran. Miss said you could sell ice to Eskimos. And I sort of believe you. Here he is there, wheeling and dealing, selling ice creams and donuts. So one of our last awards goes to the Best Friends Award. And this is you guys again in 2015. And you can see some of you have remained friends with those people you're sat next to now, which I think is lovely. So from primary school all the way through to the end of year 11. Who could believe that Patrick was so tall? Look, he's enormous. Anyway. The awards go to, not you two, but you are super good friends and you've been really supportive of each other through your time at St. Joseph's. Not you four, but two lovely ladies who have been inseparable and friends for a very long time. And they are, no, not you two, James and Jan Luca. What a great picture. Great buddies. But the winner goes to... Mariana and Maria, well done, ladies. What a superb friendship you have. What a great example to the rest of us for being loyal and supportive of each other. I'm just going to end on two funny pictures that really make me smile. Ali, Hannah, love it. 
great, but this one has to be my final picture. Gianluca, who has always entertained us throughout every assembly, every lesson. He's always been there. Such a loyal young man. And I hope to see you all in the six former, especially you, Gianluca. Please, please, please do, do get in touch with us if you have any questions about anything to do with your next step in your wonderful careers. August the 20th, results day. You'll get a letter soon about that, but I will see you all on August the 20th. And I wish you a really happy and safe rest of the summer. Take care. All the best, Miss Cheston. Do you know?